To announce this new species, I give you avian nestledove. Hello. Remarkable news from the jungles of Pennsylvania. The dove cowquin, I have named this new species at first shrouded in mystery. We now know it has characteristics of doves, of cows, and of penguins. Thus, dove cow penguins. I mean dove cowquins, you know. Here they are. The truth. What you are seeing are amazing pictures of the dove cowquin feeding. These babies, when these babies latch on now, two at once, they're going to move the parent around. They're going to give that parent a really good bounce. They're going to get their crop milk just like little calves. And they bounce that milk into a nice milkshake. Yeah. And here is avian nestle dove again. And where do you think the dove no go must go when it needs more food? To the market? Uh, 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 uh. It must go somewhere. Like Lamarck said, change can be very rapid. The dove can adapt characteristics of the robin. But the dove Calquin does not adopt the feeding characteristics. It adopts the protective behaviors that keep predators from entering the nest and devouring the poor little ones or the eggs. Mr. Robin is threatening the snake. It's coming very close to it. I'm right by it. And it may be two snakes having a little bit of an affair. But regardless, the robin looks and looks and then flies really close to it. Spreads his tail feathers, gets ready. It's kind of a daring thing. You don't want to be caught by the snake just while you're threatening it, right? But you don't want the snake to get your babies or your eggs. Yeah. It was another pass. Right above it now. Pretty close. Dove cowquins don't imitate robins by going and getting worms for their babies, but here a dove imitates a robin in attacking a black snake, which is a real danger to the dove cowquin babies. Now the snake has moved on, and a dove has come by to observe, and may be threatened. 
making itself big. Look how big it's making itself, raising its wings. Watch out, snake. It's saying, I'm a hawk. I'm going to come eat you. Definitely threatening that black snake. So this dove or this dove cowquin will ease itself a hawk. Or at least wants the black snake to believe that. So far it hasn't dived at the snake. Big, big bird. Look how big I am. On the wings of a fierce gray dove. Watch out, snake. Watch out. Looking out behind daddy's tail is always a good move too. You feel just so safe and secure. Sometimes the world is just too much to look at for daddy anyway. You know, to believe in this living sometimes is so hard to do. But when you got a nice family, and enough milk in your crop, it's still pretty decent. Like most penguins, only two babies in the nest at a time, and mom and dad trade off duties. Now dad is going to fly off to that mysterious place to get some more crop milk. Yay! So what do you think guys? You ready to do the swap? I mean enough talking about it. Yeah. Might as well do the swap. Get a little fresh milk from a new Dove Calquin. Yeah, it's your turn, baby. Go for it. As the parents make the shift, listen for these sounds. Jackass penguin. Yeah, yeah. Cow. Mm. Mm. And morning dove. Cow. Woo. 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 An amazing range of sounds. An integration of features from many very creatures. Some not even living in Pennsylvania. Remarkable. And babies are definitely pushing and scrambling for milk now. Mommy's being a little bit secretive here, but that's what they're doing. On Seoul, to recap, 
The dove cowquin has characteristics of cows and penguins and of ordinary birds. It has feathers, real feathers and wings that get it to fly around, just like a robin. Yet, it does not do what a robin does in feeding its babies. It feeds them like a cow. But at the same time, it imitates robins by protecting the young by attacking black snakes, which are a threat to the nest. And here we have the dove cowquin feeding its young milk. And like a penguin, it only has two babies, and it also sometimes sings like a dove, sometimes sings like a cow, and sometimes sings like a penguin. The cow and the penguin and the dove, including imitation. But what if the dove imitated this? Who knows what will occur? Hey, inspired to learn more and do more about wild things in nature and about your own wild thing, children and grandchildren? Well, just get yourself in a comfortable position. Go to Amazon.com and download and read on any computer these three ebooks: one, Bobcat Magic, two, Newtown, Enough is Enough, and number three, Free the Nittany Lions. Have a great life and enjoy nature.